For Rachel Victor, 2022 marks 10 years since the scariest moment of her life. It was such a surreal experience that um, it doesn't really seem that that happened to me sometimes, but then I see the scar. I have the dream, so it kind of comes back to me. It was the holiday season, and Rachel was alone with her then two-year-old son. A lot of pain in my stomach. I just, I, I was just feeling nauseous. Uh, just a lot of pain. It, it was just unusual. I, I thought, and that was the nauseousness. I thought maybe it was food poisoning. When her husband arrived home, Rachel's condition rapidly deteriorated. By the time he got home from class, he had to carry me to the car. Rachel was hemorrhaging. Blood was pooling inside of her abdomen. Doctors rushed her to surgery. It was so happening so fast. I just couldn't really believe that it was happening. Rachel required four transfusions. Thankfully, there was just enough on hand. If no one gave blood, people like me wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be alive. And now she's helping to give back by regularly donating. On June 3rd, Rachel will organize her second blood drive at Quirk Kia in Manchester. It was so rewarding to really feel that sense of community coming together for a good cause. As a reminder of how far she's come, Rachel carries her donor card with her. She's hoping her life-altering moments can lead to life-altering habits for those around her. I'm very proud of it. I, th I think it's part of a legacy I'm hoping to pass on to my kids to turn into something that could have been a tragedy into something really, truly good. I feel like that's an honor for me and it's something that I'm proud of doing and I'll continue doing it as long as I can. I'm Sean McDonald, WMUR News 9.